Every year, Oprah releases a list of her favorite things right before Christmas. And this year, one local designer's artwork is actually on that list. Erica Ferrando tells us why Oprah thinks these gifts are so special. Here, they're picking the cotton, so it tells the whole story. Each ornament in this collection is unique. Each one, as you can see, is hand sculpted and hand painted. Each one tells a story. Zinnias were her favorite flower. Their stories retold from Clementine Hunter's original work that you'll see throughout Doug Gitter's Metairie home. It was from the heart and it had so much meaning to it. Hunter was a self-taught folk artist known for showcasing her life on a Louisiana plantation. She died in 1988 at 101 years old. Her work is now featured in the Smithsonian, NOMA, and museums all over the country. That simplicity of life was very meaningful for her. In Hurricane Katrina, Gitter lost several original pieces, so he got the rights and has been recreating her work ever since as the designer of Gitter Gallery. And I really wanted to pay tribute to her original artwork. Gitter travels to Europe, Asia, and India, where artists will bring his designs to life. He just released the Clementine Hunter Christmas Ornament Collection, each made of hand-blown glass. Not only can you see the beautiful artwork that Clementine Hunter portrayed, but you can actually feel the movement in the work. Gitter sent a set to Oprah. Because I knew she loved Clementine Hunter's original artwork. And to his surprise, Oprah featured the collection as one of Oprah's favorite things in 2019. And I was really blown away. It was so exciting for me. This is the second time Doug Gitter's artwork was featured as one of Oprah's favorite things. In 2013, the baptism on Cane River platter was featured on the list. And there is such a thing as the Oprah effect. And it is happening. The boost in sales share Clementine Hunter's stories of life on a Louisiana plantation. In Metairie, Erica Ferrando, Eyewitness News. Well, Gitter's work is available at several local retailers and online. A portion of those proceeds go to the Clementine Hunter estate, which recently funded renovation of Hunter's house on the Melrose Plantation in Natchitoches.